The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Thank you, Paul. I think this is very important, what happens in this country over the next few months. And so I'm here to just encourage us, us all to come together and do everything we possibly can to support electing Mitt Romney uh, in November. Um, we have had a very spirited primary uh, in our party, as we normally do. And uh, I know that uh, there are some who still feel that there's things to do other than uh, unite behind Governor Romney, but uh, with all due respect, I want to encourage us all to do exactly that. Um, as I think about uh, where this country is headed, it uh, scares me to death what my children and grandchildren, I have two grandsons, two and a half and, and a half year old, and uh, what's happening is just very, very scary. I, when I was at the state party, I, I shared the quote that uh, Barack Obama uh, made on the floor of the U.S. Senate. I think it was in 2006 when he was a U.S. Senator. The fact that we're here today to debate raising America's debt limit is a sign of leadership failure. Leadership means the buck stops here. Instead, Washington is shifting the burden of bad choices today onto the backs of our children and grandchildren. America has a debt problem and a failure of leadership. Americans deserve better. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Thank you. I think we need to take him at his word and send him back home. Uh, I think his vision for... Uh, wherever home is. I made a little national news a few weeks ago. I might uh, take the opportunity to tell you what really happened because don't read or don't believe all that you hear in the media sometimes. Um, as you know, when, when the sheriff's cold case posse um, downloaded the uh, birth certificate off the White House website, they felt that it might be a forgery. Now, they had probable cause that it might be a forgery, but some people missed the probable and the might, and they just saw the word forgery. So I started getting thousands of emails and calls from people, many of them, with all due respect, asking me to do things that were impossible to do and outside the boundaries of the laws of the state of Arizona. For example, demand that the president produce or bring his original birth certificate and put it on my desk before he could get on the ballot in Arizona. No one, no state is going to allow the original birth record of anyone out of its possession. Now, in fact, I even confirmed with the state of Arizona, Department of Vital Records, whose office I can see right outside my window there at the Capitol. And they confirmed, uh, as I suspected they would, that I could not get my own original birth certificate on my desk. Um, and so I really couldn't require that the original birth certificate be produced. But some of those that were writing me were asking or brought to my attention a law in the state of Hawaii that requires the Department of Health records there in Hawaii to do what's called a verification in lieu of a certified copy. Actually, you're not asking for a certified copy. You're asking for a verification in lieu of or instead of. And so I, that's what I did. I did not ask for a certified copy. Uh, we really weren't challenging the, uh, the birth certificate in the sense of trying to keep the president off the ballot. We were simply asking another state government to officially confirm or verify to the Arizona state government that they have a birth record for Barack Hussein Obama II, born on August 4, 1961. Now, when I called Hawaii to see if they really had this process, uh, I got a hold of a deputy uh, attorney general who said, yeah, we have this. It's pretty straightforward. You send in $5, fill out this form that you can download on the website. So I paid $5 out of my own pocket, downloaded the form, filled it out, and mailed it in. And about four weeks later, I hadn't heard anything. So I emailed the lady and I said, have you received the application and how long does it take? I got an email back saying, oh, I didn't realize that you had sent it in. I'll check on it, make sure we have it. She emailed back said, we have it. It takes a couple weeks at the most. So I thought another couple weeks go by and we'll have the verification and I'll be, it'll all be done. 
Another three weeks goes by. Still haven't heard anything. So I called. And she wasn't in, but she returned the call, and I wasn't in, and she spoke to my Deputy Secretary of State, Jim Drake, and her exact words to him were, we are leaning towards rejecting your request. We were stunned, because it's right in the Hawaii State law that their department shall provide a verification in lieu of, if requested by another state official from another state. We were stunned, and we then they began to say, well, we're not sure that you have all of the, uh, the right authority according to your own state law. So we started sending copies of uh, Arizona statutes to prove that we were the chief elections officer in the state, and we maintained the list of people who qualified to be on the ballot, and we had to certify that to each of the counties, so each county got the ballot right, and on and on and on. That still didn't suffice, and it was right about in that period of time that... Uh, Somehow the email chain kind of got uh, sent around the country and somebody picked up on it in a blog in New Jersey and somebody picked up it at World Net Daily and pretty soon I started getting calls and I went on KFYI with Mike Broomhead. And my probable mistake was answering a hypothetical question of if you don't get the verification, could he be left off the ballot? And I said, it was possible. Oh my goodness, you think that I, I think I touched the third rail or something, you know? So we saw what happened. Uh, I apologized, and uh, I have apologized, and apologize again. I was certainly not trying to embarrass the state of Arizona. We were trying to do a very simple, straightforward thing. And sure enough, within another 36 hours of it exploding nationwide, we got the verification from Hawaii, and in my opinion, the case is closed. Now, I know there's a lot of people that I have a lot of, are very skeptical as to whether the president was born in Hawaii. Personally, I actually believe he was. I actually think he was fibbing about being born in Kenya when he was trying to get into college and doing things like writing a book and on and on and on. So uh, if there was weird stuff going on, I actually think it was happening back in his college days because I think he has spent one and a half or two million dollars through attorneys to have all of the college records and all of that stuff sealed. So if you're spending money to seal something, that's probably where the hanky-panky was going on. If you're sending your attorneys out to Hawaii to get a copy of the certificate and posting it on the website, perhaps, or I actually think he was born in Hawaii. But all of that aside, uh, we are not going to win this election based on whether he was born in Hawaii or not. We are going to win this election because our country has to change directions or we are quickly headed to a point where we're not going to be able to recover. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.